Hello kiddos, Sir ES here and today we're going to talk about mole concept. <laughs> Before we define mole, let us give the special names for discounting units. 2, 12, 144, and 500. For 2, what is our special name for this? That's right. We use the term pair. How about 12? What is the term we use for this? For example, you have to buy 12 pieces of eggs. Tama, we have dozen. E paano naman kung bibili ka ng labing dalawang dosena, which is equal to 144? Our term for that is gross. And lastly, 500. Example, bibili ka ng 500 pieces ng bond paper. So you will buy one, you got it right. One grid of bond paper, which is referring to 500. And these are some of the special names we use for counting units. And what's the connection of this to our lesson today about mole? Here it is. In chemistry, the atomic counting unit is mole, katulad ng mga rim, dozen, pair, or gross, ginagamit natin ng mole bilang counting unit. Let us define mole. Mole is the number of atoms represented by the atomic number of an element expressed in grams. For us to understand this, later I will show you some examples. But let us proceed on to the next slide. One mole of a certain element implies two things. The first one, the atomic mass expressed in grams is different from each element. This is what we call molar mass. For example, one mole of carbon is equal to 12.01 grams. Sir, saan lang galing yung 12.01 gram? May kita natin to sa periodic table, specifically in the atomic mass or mass number. How about sodium? So, one mole of sodium is equal to 22.99 grams. You have to remember that the number of decimal places would depend on the set standard by your teachers. Typically, sa klasiko, I would ask them to give at least two decimal places. The second implication is, Avogadro's number of atoms is the same for all elements. Tatandaan natin, the same for all elements. Example, one mole of carbon, which is equal to 12.01 grams, na natutunan natin kanina, is also equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23rd power. At ito ay laging constant for every mole of carbon. How about in sodium? Sodium is also equal to the same value, which is 6.022 times 10 raised to 23rd power. Tatandaan lang natin na ang Avogadro's number ay laging 6.022 times 10, 23, raised to 23rd power. Okay? So, bawat isang mole ng kahit anong element ay equal sa value na ito. Para makita natin yung application na ito, let us proceed to the next slide. This is the interconversion of mass, mole, and number of particles. Pwede mong i-screenshot to o pwede mong isulat ito para may guide ka. Pero para mas maintindihan mo ang gamit ng interconversion nito, let us have some examples. 
we will answer the following drills. We got four here. Let's take it one by one. Number one, let's have moles to mass conversion. So our problem is, what is the mass of five mole of carbon? What will be our step? First, write down the given, which is five mole of carbon. Then we have to multiply it with 12.01 grams. Tulad ng sabi ko, this data is available in the periodic table. So just you just have to check the atomic mass of carbon for this instance. Then we have to divide it by 1 mole. Kasi kung naaalala nyo, 1 mole of carbon is always equal to 12.01 grams. And with that, meron na tayong mole sa taas or in the numerator, then mole in the denominator. With this, we can cancel them out. And so, 5 times 12.01 is equal to, you got it right, 60.05 grams carbon. And this will be our answer. Meaning, 5 moles of carbon is equal to 60 0.05 grams of carbon. Let's have drill number two. For drill number two, we need to convert mass to mole. And our question is, how many moles are present in 25.60 grams of carbon? Hmm. This is a reverse process. So again, step one, write down the given. And then we have to multiply it with one mole. And we know that one mole of carbon is always equal to 12.01 grams. Tanan, meron na tayong grams sa numerator and grams sa denominator. So we can cancel them out. And we will just divide 25.60 to 12.01. And the result is, you are right, 2.13 mole carbon. Tatandaan na kailangan ay properly labeled or correct unit ang ginagamit natin. So again, our unit here is mole. This implies that for every 25.60 grams of carbon, lagi kang merong 2.13 moles of carbon. Let's have drill number three. For drill number three, we have to convert number of particles to mass. Dito na tayo gagamit ng Avogadro's number. Again, ano nga ulit ang Avogadro's number? Tama. It is equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23rd power. Let us see how to use it. First, write down the given, which is 1.81 times 10 raised to 24 atoms. Ganyan daw kadami yung atoms ng carbon in that particular sample. Next step, we have to multiply it with one mole, which is always equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23rd power. Dahil meron na tayong atoms sa numerator and denominator, we can cancel them out. Tapos na ba ang ating process? Not yet. Since we are asked to convert number of particles, in this case, atoms, to mass, then we need to proceed to the next step. We need to multiply it with 12.01 grams of carbon over 1 mole. Tatandaan nyo lang parate, 
na ang isang mole ng carbon ay equal parate sa 12.01 grams. Ganun din sa ibang elements. Laging ang one mole nila ay equal sa atomic mass nila. At tatandaan din na ang one mole of carbon is always equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23. So ito ay, or 23rd. So ito ay yung ating tinatawag na Avogadro's number. And this is applicable sa lahat ng element. So isang mole ng bawat element ay laging equal sa Avogadro's number. Okay? Let's proceed with the process. So we have mole in the numerator and mole in the denominator. So we can cancel them out. Therefore, we just have to do the operation or apply the operation. So 1.81 times 10 raised to 24 power times 1, then times 12.01. Then divide it by Avogadro's number. And our answer is... Ta-da! 36.10 grams of carbon. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kapag meron kang 36.10 grams na carbon sample, halimbawa nag-measure ka sa electronic balance, ibig sabihin meron doon sa sample mo na 1.81 times 10 raised to 24 or 24 power na Atoms, ganun siya karami. Okay? And that is our answer for number three. Let's have number four. It is the opposite. So mass to number of particles. First step again, write down the given, which is 24.80 grams carbon. Then, one mole of carbon is equal to 12.01 grams because our goal is to eliminate the unit of gram. So cancel and we're not yet done. Let's proceed to the next step. We have to multiply it with Avogadro's number over one mole because our target is to eliminate the unit of mole. So we can cancel them out. And get your calculator and try to solve this problem. And our answer is 1.24 times 10 raised to 24 power. And our unit is atoms. So ganito karaming atoms ang present sa 24.8 grams na carbon sample. I hope you were able to follow the process on conversion. Tatandaan lang natin na ang basic skill dito ay elimination of units para lagi kang guided sa process mo. Okay, it's your turn. You may pause this video and try to answer the following drills. Okay, let us now check your answers. So, number one, what is the mass of 2.5 mole of fluorine? The answer is 47.5 grams of fluorine. Question number two, how many moles are present in 34.20 grams of sodium? And the answer is, 1.49 mole of sodium. Third, how many individual atoms are present in 45.06 mole of beryllium? Hmm. In our discussion a while ago, I did not include this process. Pero sana as you apply the conversion of individual atoms to Mass ay nakuha ninyo yung process na to. This is our solution for number three. 
since the given is 45.06 mole already, so we will just directly multiply it with the Avogadro's number. And we can do the cancellation of mole at a matitira na lang ay ang atom, which is equal to 2.71 times 10 raised to 25 or 25th power. And our unit again is atom. Number four. What is the mass of 3.01 times 10 raised to 22 atoms of calcium? The answer is 2 grams of calcium. Number 5. How many individual atoms are present in 85.70 grams of beryllium? And the answer is 4.77 times 10 raised to 24 atoms of beryllium. So what is your score? I hope you got a perfect score. And this will be the end of our discussion. I hope this teach vlog helped you to understand mole concept. See you again in my next teach vlog. Bye-bye and God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>